What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Breaking Noob here, back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And today I'm bringing you yet another location for cap grinding. By now you probably realized I've been walking through the wastelands trying to find different locations in which we can all get rich. And today my travels take us to the Nuka-Cola factory. If you find this video helpful, please smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit that bell, that way you'll be the first to be notified every time I find a new location. And with that being said, let's get started. By now you probably know how I feel about the Cap Collector perk card. If you level that up all the way to level 3, you will find extra caps in each and every cap stash. And today we're going to be opening up 5. All right, so we're going to be visiting the Nuka-Cola plant. This plant is south of Vault 77, and where am I at? Here we go, if we follow the river, real close to the Poseidon power plant. All right, so we're going to spawn in front of it. It's going to be a little hike before our first cap stash. Uh, I've been exploring this area for a while and trying to determine the best route, and the best route is to just... Uh, have a long run here. There we go. All right, so the first stash we're gonna have is in this camper and It's inside this computer right there. So there's cap stash number one of five Next we're gonna run up the middle of the building and go up this staircase and From here we're actually going to be entering the building for our next cap stash Confess, this is not really my favorite run simply because it's not as fluid as some of the other runs. But I decided to go ahead and post it anyways, that way it's there for you if you need it. So once we're inside, we can go straight. And once we're in this big room here, we're going to hang a right and go up these stairs to this little uh, control room area and through the door. As we get into these cubbies, there's going to be our second cap stash. Right, and it's right around here where my wife asks me to take out the trash, so I'm going to hope nothing kills me. And through the miracle of editing, we are back. All right. So, we got beat up a little bit there, but that's all right. All right, going on to the third cap stash. It's going to be in the same building. We're going to go back through this room, and we're going to have to do a little bit of entry-level platforming here. Jump up on this crane. And we're trying to get to the staircase here. And as we follow this catwalk, it's going to take us to our third cap stash. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and run down here. And we are going to head back outside right through these doors. I think I said that there was five here. There should actually be six. There's five uh, cap stashes. Uh, there is a sixth one at the very end that does require lock picking skill number three. So if you got that, you're in luck with an extra cap stash. If not, well, it's not the end of the world. So we're going to be following this catwalk and we're going to be going up to the roof. And here you can sometimes find a fusion core in that generator here. Not what we're after today. We want to find caps. So if we come across, we're going to see a little room that's locked up here. Uh, this is level one, so you know by now I always got to break at least one lockpick before I can get in. Come on, come on. There we go. And the door doesn't open, so we bash it with a hammer. There we go. All right, and this is number four. So as you can see, it's not quite as fluid of a run as some of the other locations, but it's still a decent run. I mean, to think just a few days ago, we did not have unlimited caps as an option. All right, so we're going to go all the way across this roof, all the way to the end. All right, and here we go at the far end, cap stash number five. Perfect. Now I did say there's a six one. I'm going to be backtracking a little bit for the six one. Normally I would have gotten the six one fifth, if I can think of how to say that, and the last one we just got afterwards. Uh, I skipped it in this run uh, just for those of you that don't have skill level three for your lock picking. 
and it is right here towards the beginning of the, the roof when we first came on here. If we can get in and maybe break a lock here. There we go. Yep, got to break one. And there we go. All right, so full discretion. This one did not load for me the last time, so I did have to respawn in and back onto the roof here. Turn on the lights, and there is our cap stash number six for those of you with level three lockpicking skills. Awesome! So, not my favorite run out of all of them, but it's still a great resource for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I have for you guys today. I want to say thanks for the support. If you guys find any way to improve these runs, please let me know in the comments. You guys have been awesome with that, and these runs have really developed. All right, guys, thanks again for all your support, and we'll see you next time.